Welcome everyone to Community Church. Wherever you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. Oh, sacred head now wounded with grief and shame weighed down. Now scornfully surrounded with thorns your With sore abuse and scorn, how does your visage language, which once was bright as morn, what you dear Savior suffered was all for sinners gain. Mine, mine was the transgression, but yours the deadly pain. Lo, here I fall, my Savior, for I deserve your place. Look on me with your favor, oh, grant to me your grace. What language shall I borrow to thank you, dearest friend, for this your dying sorrow, your pity without end? May I be yours forever, and though my days be few, oh, Savior, join me in the call to worship. In this season of Lent, we continue our journey toward the cross. We remember these steps that led Christ here, betrayal and fear, but also trust in God and love for humanity. As we make our way to the cross, we strive to follow Christ's example. To admit that betrayal and fear are part of life. To embrace trust in God and love for all humanity. So we so make our journey. journey. And in this, we worship God. love is this oh my soul oh my soul what wondrous love is this oh my soul what wondrous love is this that comes a common bliss to bear the dreadful cross for my soul for my soul to for my soul to God to God and to the Lamb I will sing I will sing to God and to the Lamb I will sing to God and to the Lamb who is the great I am one Join the theme. I will sing. I will sing. While millions join the theme, I will sing. Sing the song. And when from death I'm free, I'll 
sing on, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing and joyful be. And through eternity, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And through eternity, I'll sing on. What wondrous love, what wondrous love is this? Oh, my soul, oh, my soul. What wondrous love is this? Oh, my soul. What wondrous love is this? That Christ should come in bliss to bear the dreadful for my soul, for my soul, to bear the heavy cross for my soul. Today's scripture is Luke chapter 22, verses 47 to 53. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, is it with a kiss that you are betraying the Son of Man? When those who were around him saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, should we strike with the sword? Then one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple police, and the elders who came from him, have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were a bandit? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. Reverend Sachs has prepared a video for us to watch that Jeff is going to share with us. Why are you looking at me that way? Didn't you hear what he had to say at supper? That I need to go and do what I must do and do it quickly. What a betrayer. Greet his master with a kiss. Would a betrayer follow his Lord's command so closely, so selflessly, knowing that the world would turn against him for doing it? Who among you had the courage to do this? Have any of you truly, truly listened to Jesus about what's to come? Have you considered that this, that I am part of the plan, that my place among you has been more than treasurer? That I am treasure. Aren't you tired of knowing? That you walk the world with God's most cherished. And yet the chief priests ridicule us as if they know who Jesus is. Well, what do you expect the priests will say when they see how he healed that guard? Do you think they'll do anything less than fall at his feet and worship the Messiah? Won't the guards go back to their masters and proclaim his mercy? That even against his own disciples, Jesus defended the guards and forswore any violence against the men trying to take him. Won't the man whose ear was in the dust just moments ago put down his sword and follow us, stand with us? Who else? Who else could have performed these miracles that we have seen other than the Messiah? Who 
else could show such mercy on the men attacking him? Who else? And who better to witness than our own scholars to see the miracles by his own hands? Don't they know the prophecy of the Messiah better than you or I? Won't they see what his hands have done and recognize who he is? Won't they recognize finally that he is the Son of God? He is not a rabbi or a teacher or a healer or a revolutionary or even a man. He is a son of the Most High, and I know that, and you know that, and now they will know that. Don't look at me like that. I did nothing less than what he asked of me. Conceived in anger, born into a rage. of the age My mother left me outside a stranger's door She heard a howling wind and could not refuse it anymore Before you God I am opening my heart I know you did not expect me I'm a thief in the night Before you go I will leave the 99 And find you in the darkness And I'll not leave you behind I've spent so much time in my head heavy as a dying star my daughters carry the same fears that I do my son loses sleep every night looking for you before you go I am open in my heart I know you I'm a thief in the night Before you go I will leave the 99 To find you in the darkness I will not leave you temple with the fallen spire your absence burns me like a lake of fire the cure for my fear of cancer is dripping down my throat for I still believe in miracles God even when you don't before you Exile song. I will bandage up your bruises by the shores of Babylon. Before you, God, I am calling out your name like a ghost upon the water. I am coming back again like a ghost upon. I'm coming back, coming back again.
Let's go now into a time of prayer, bringing whatever joys, whatever sorrows, um, whatever our hearts are aware of internally for our community, for our planet, for the world around us. And I'm going to open us up um, with a prayer from uh, Friar Richard Rohr. And then um, folks on, on Zoom, if you could type your uh, requests into the chat. And um, folks here, just, just raise your hand or offer it up. So pray with me, if you will. God, Lord of all creation, lover of life and of everything, please help us to love in our very small way what you love infinitely and everywhere. We thank you that we can offer just this one prayer and that will become more than enough because in reality, everything and everyone is connected and nothing stands alone. To pray for one part is really to pray for the whole. And so we do. Help us each day to stand for love, for healing, for the good, for the diversity, for the diverse unity of the body of Christ and all creation, because we know that this is what you desire, as Jesus prayed, that all may be one. We offer our prayer together with all the holy names of God. We offer our prayer together with Christ, our Lord. Lord, in your mercy and with thanksgiving, we offer these things to you today, knowing that you can hear us better than we can hear ourselves, that you understand us where we fail to understand each other. Be the marrow in our bones, be the lifeblood in our bodies, be the spark in our souls. Um, no matter what we face, be it something rather trivial like a technical difficulty, the transition of new leadership, um, personal challenges on the home front with health, with depression, with anxiety. Be so present with us. Help us to, to know and to believe and to experience the reality of um, the spirit of grace and love, um, divine love that holds us all together. And may this light burn brightly in us as individuals, as a community of faith, and, and go out into the community um, to, to lift up those in whatever state they may be around us. Asking all these things in the many holy names of God, will you join with me in saying the Lord's Prayer? Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today, this day, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Let's sing. We're in the season of Lent coming up to Easter, which is why we're singing some of these more um, introspective songs. Um, Lent is a, a solemn time of reflection historically in the church. Um, sometimes when we experience the lack, the not having, whether it be giving up meat or social media or whatever floats your boat, we can experience the goodness of spirit, which comes to fill that void and meet us in unexpected ways. Um, so as we sing this very traditional last hymn, kind of reflecting um, upon the beauty of Christ, I encourage you to think about um, how Christ, the universal Christ eternal, might be able to, to fill you in a particular way that you need it this morning. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Christ of glory died, my richest gain. And 
contempt on all my pride. Forbid it then that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my sacred head from hands and feet sorrow and love flow mingle down did there such love and sorrow me or thorns compose so rich a crown were the whole realm of nature mine that were a present far too small love so amazing so divine demands my soul my life my uh, love so amazing love so amazing so divine demands my soul my life my own. As you go into the world, may the aroma of your faith fill the air around you. May your hope perfume your encounters. May, may your touch mend broken walls. And may the God of hope and peace guide you, envelop you, and sustain you on the journey and in the work. Thank you. 